Jeremy and George Hales, the duo behind What The Hales YouTube channel have been fighting over their right with the Otter Creek Town Hall and Mayor for over six months after being billed for 17,000 gallons of water. Jeremy has even alleged the Mayor of corruption. So, what happened? In this video, we'll walk you through the entire story and also update you on their current situation. Now, if you're not familiar with Jeremy and George, let us give some info on them. These guys are the modern-day treasure hunters and runs a show based on treasure hunting on YouTube. They make a living buying abandoned storage units and finding hidden gems. They are also known for coin pusher jackpot videos. But it's not just about finding treasure, they teach their audience how to make money through storage unit auctions, thrifting, and eBay reselling. As of now, they have over 667k subscribers and a whopping 275 million total views on their channel. Talking about the lovely couple, Jeremy and George have been together on and off screen since mid-2018. In fact, they got engaged in December 2021 with plans to tie the knot soon. Well, many seem to be searching for Jeremy and George's divorce, but we are glad to say that they are still together and have not parted ways. Talking about riches, they have an estimated net worth of over $1 million. Their primary income source. YouTube of course, where they share the adventures in reselling items that they find in abandoned storage units. Moreover, they also sell merchandise on their website, What's more, they have various properties in Florida and Otter Creek and have recently added the old church lot and the ark to their portfolio. Jeremy started his YouTube journey on June 26, 2017 and has since captivated audiences with his eBay resale and storage unit auction videos. One of his most watched videos, Found Money in Safe, I Bought Abandoned Storage Unit Locker, Opening Mystery Boxes Storage Wars, has garnered over 4.3 million views. Jeremy knows how to keep viewers engaged with his content. Now, let's dive into the depth of the incident, Jeremy's ongoing battle with the Otter Creek Town Hall over an exorbitant water bill. It all began in April 2021 when Jeremy received a bill of $50, far higher than the usual $22.50 for usage up to 4,000 gallons. The culprit? A 2-inch meter line installation for which Jeremy had already paid $2,360. Claiming he should be classified as a residential citizen, Jeremy sought public documents for clarification but received no response. The situation escalated when Jeremy received disconnection notices and incurred late fees for his water bill. Things took a dire turn when he was billed a jaw-dropping $225 for allegedly using 17,700 gallons of water in just 25 days. Jeremy didn't take this sitting down. He confronted both the town hall clerk, Mary, and the mayor, Russell, whom he humorously dubs Mary Mary and Russ the Source, respectively. Over the past six months, Jeremy hasn't merely been grappling with water bills. In addition to this, he's been on a mission to expose alleged corruption within the Otter Creek Town Hall. He has accused the former Mayor Russell of diverting town funds for personal gain and even released videos shedding light on the town's purportedly corrupt officials. Jeremy's mission is crystal clear to safeguard Otter Creek from those who've been mismanaging it. In a recent video, Jeremy took us even deeper into the allegations. He spilled the tea on the alleged misuse of town funds by Riss the Source, conflicts of interest involving Mayor Therese, and raised concerns about hiring practices and election preparations. The fight is far from over, and Jeremy's determination to unearth the truth is unwavering. That wraps up the video. Do you believe Jeremy will succeed in making Otter Creek officially transparent? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Stay tuned and farewell.